All right, welcome back guys. In today's video, I am gonna show you a couple of very cool things. Number one, how to make uh, faceless YouTube videos really fast using ChatGPT. So we're gonna go in here and just like uh, some of you have already played with uh, writing articles and so forth, let's say that you are an affiliate marketer and you're looking for uh, marketing VPN. VPNs have good returns, uh, good commissions and so forth. So just a good one to start with. So if we were to write an article, we were to ask ChatGPT how to do this. Now there's a lot of videos out there on how to write really good articles. So you can of course uh, default to looking at those. I'm just gonna go through this quickly just to show you the real meat of this video. So we wanna write an article here, let's say for ChatGPT, let's say uh, write a, an article uh, about the top five uh, benefits of using a VPN. Now it's gonna go ahead and write that. Now, as it's doing that, let's chat a little bit here. So YouTube is still this uh, area within marketing that is largely untapped. Everybody in the uh, organic SEO game is trying to get their website ranked and so forth. And of course the terrain is very difficult out there, but YouTube, it's easier to get things ranked. So that's why YouTube is still kind of like um, the go-to for getting rapid results, especially if you're uh, promoting a product like an affiliate product. So when we use ChatGPN, uh, GPT, sorry, it's going to give us the opportunity to use this kind of AI generated content in a area, YouTube, where we're not gonna get potentially pu uh, punished for using it. So if you're writing a lot of chat GPT articles and so forth for SEO for your website uh, to get organic rankings, Google may come along and smack that down. So there's a huge risk for that and you're gonna have to do a lot of modification. Uh, I'll show you in additional videos on how to bypass those AI detection uh, parameters w via Google. But it's a lot safer to use these kind of direct chat GPT uh, uh, AI articles in YouTube videos. So you definitely should be doing it. So here, um, while I was yapping, it already uh, created a nice uh, article for us. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that. And I want you to go over to a program called Pictory. Now what Pictory does is all these wonderful different applications here, as you can see, uh, you could do script to video, which we're gonna be doing. You can do an article to a video, in which case all you have to do is copy and paste the URL that you wanna create. Uh, you could edit videos using text and of course uh, visuals to video. So there's a bunch of different applications, but what we're really interested in here is using a script to video. So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with that. It takes you over to here and what we're gonna do is we're just going to paste that right in there. Now we pasted it in there. Now we've got our content. Now I want you to watch what happens here when we go to the next piece. So there's some parameters here that you can learn how to set, but I just wanna get through this quickly so you could start to see what happens. Now what's gonna happen here is that Pictory is gonna take us to this. And what we can do is we could choose a different style or template of how we want the uh, text and so forth to present or how we want our article to look in video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and go with this first one here, this lemon, which is kind of like black text on a yellow highlight with uh, red highlights on some of the text. So I'm just gonna click on that and I choose an aspect ratio. And this is gonna depend on what you're using it for. And the cool thing is you can go 16.9, you can go vertical 9.16 or a one-to-one. -one. So I'm just gonna go with 16.9 and I'm gonna click continue. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna go through its media database based upon the text that you entered and it's going to be looking through stock photos and videos and so forth to find keywords so it can find things that are related. So what you've seen here is it already, you could see that the background, which is so cool, it realizes and recognizes the word uh, VPN, virtual private network, and in the background, it's selected in it a video that says VPN on it. So what it's done is it's separated the text into scenes. And that is just, you know, how much text you can get on a, on a page at a time. And it goes through this, and I'll just scroll through some of these, and you could see that it picks an appropriate video or image for the text. So here, of course, it talks about encrypting data, and masks a user's IP address, and it looks like somebody's coding. You could see in the glasses there, or somebody who might be a hacker, which is pretty awesome because it's related exactly to this. I didn't have to do any work. Go to the next one. 
Okay, and it says benefits, which was seemingly the keyword, and bang, right there, it pulls this up in the background, which is pretty awesome. And if we keep going through here, we can change any of these backgrounds that we want if, it, if the software didn't pick something that we, we think is suitable. Um, but it puts on a certain amount of text per page. Of course, there's a length of time for the scene. You can alter that. So sometimes what I do is you wanna read through this and see how much time it reasonably takes to read it and adjust the scene duration. And that way it's not flying by too fast. You could also keep an eye on your estimated video duration. Most YouTube videos, people are gonna stick around for only a couple of minutes. Uh, so you can make sure that you're optimizing your view times by keeping an eye on that. So as we go through here, uh, again, pretty good scene selection here. So we keep scrolling through and it has put that video uh, together for us. Now, the other cool thing is this is going to be just obviously video or uh, images in the background with text. We can add voiceover. So you can record a voiceover with your own voice. So what I can do is it'll take it scene by scene. I can record my voice and then just put the file to this. And that way we'll have a real human being voice. Or you can use like an, an auto voice. Okay, so a voiceover um, and you have a lot of different options here. So US English, a lot of different uh, styles and you can obviously walk through those and test them out. You've got New Zealand, you've got an Australian, uh, South African, and so forth, male and female. And of course, you can change the speed at which they're talking. So these are all a lot of super cool options. You can also go through about 15,000 tracks here of background music that you can apply. So all it is is literally point and click. It is so awesome. So you can click the one that you want, you can either use the computer generated voiceover or record your own, okay? Which I believe in recording your own if you don't mind having your voice on there because it's gonna get better results. And you can also upload some of your own elements. Now you could also have elements over here. There are stickers, GIFs, and emojis that you can plop onto the video as well to increase uh, obviously the quality of the video and get people to last stick on it longer. Uh, you have text, you can re-edit and change those things. Styles, of course, you can go back through those. Uh, branding, sticking logos and so forth on there. And of course, altering the format if you want to as well. So if you want to create a video that is 16.9, and then obviously it could be 720p or 1080p, you can download it and then you can alter this again and change it to 916 or one by one to put this on another platform or if you're using Reels or you're using TikTok. So there's a lot of options here. And again, you can preview this, okay? And you can generate it. So you generate it, okay? You could do, it'll, it'll have you a couple options over here, video spreadsheet of social video posts uh, or social video posts for Ho Hootsuite. So you could see here the potential to be able to take content and turn all of that content into videos. So if you have a bunch of articles, let's say on your website, and you want to be able to enhance your SEO, here is a quick and easy little trick. What you wanna do is go back to your articles and maybe even create snippets or the whole thing and copy and paste that URL or the text into here and make a video of your article. Now, one of the benefits of this is, is that you can target that exact keyword or title. If you're selecting titles that are SEO based with long tail keywords, you can make a video and upload it to YouTube and embed that video on your page, which is going to increase uh, keyword density on that page. And of course, it's gonna associate a video to it as well, which is super awesome. The more you put in there, the better you're gonna rank. Okay, and sometimes I found in mine that especially was going after what's called low KGR, which we'll talk about at some other point in the video, but great opportunities for keywords that to be able to rank with low competition. All it took was just a good quality headline, making one of these types of videos and just actually putting that article right below the video and it ranked really, really well. So I hope this has been helpful. Make sure you check out, obviously, the additional benefits out of using ChatGPT. I'm gonna include a link direct, uh, direct here to Pictory. You get a free trial with it. Do me a favor, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Also use my link below 
to get your trial of Pictory. It helps me make more of these videos. And of course, I get a little commission as a result of that by chatting about it. So I hope you watch this, you like this video. Make sure you subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one.